Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm D Green, and today we continue our entry level to Megabase, where the entry level part is starting to lag to or come to an end. We pretty much just need to get a rocket launch to be done with our entry level base or our starter base. So uh, that is very, very exciting. Right now, I want to go and move what's it called all of our power production down south and get our coal to flow in up top for the rest of the starter base. That means we'll just grab a few of these and be able to set up quite a bit more of our power further away from the top. Let's grab you. We will need... Yeah, let's grab that. How many was that? That was 48. That should be enough. We shouldn't need more than 40. So look how good this looks now. Everything's backing up. The only reason we, we are not using it is because plastic has grinded to a halt. Because of our coal situation. So let's start by tearing all of this up. That is uh, a pretty good thing to do. Please just deconstruct all of you. Gather a bit of pump. And then relocate this down south. Hopefully I have enough room for all of it. We will know in just a minute. We at least have more than enough steam engines now, I think. And is the power still connected up as it should be? Of course it's not, so let's just remember to do that. Like that, and then everything should be connected up again. <laughs> Meaning that this should keep working. Look, there was a bit of a power glitch right there. But uh, that should be solved now. So let's go down south. Has this not started flowing again? Where is our... There we are, cool. Yeah, starting to flow again, so that is perfect. Going into the rest of our base, supplying this with more coal. So, trip down to our old or old or new coal plants, setting up pretty much double the double of what we have. Not that I think it's overly necessary at this point, but uh, then we don't have to worry about power for a long, long time. So we need water, we could pretty much just put it in right above, so doing a copy paste of this. Please take this part. I'd like to put you down right up here. I think that'll be fine. Let's do it here to make it look somewhat good. And there we are. Go to work, little robots. You know what to do. We're probably missing one pump. Now we have the two pumps. I was uh, completely wrong. As I tend to be once in a while. And the second one from right here. Somewhere out here. So let's see the pumps. Where can we hook you up? There we are. You can hook up right on the edge here, and you will kind of have to be a little finicky unless we do that and hook it up a bit nicer. So that is the water flowing in. So these, we just need to build the rest. And that is looking quite, quite good. While these are building, let's check on our rocket silo. It's at 98. Holy moly. We are insanely close. I actually think we might have enough here to do it if we use these. 
but uh, let's just wait a minute with the grand rock launch that this episode so far seems like it will be. So let's just get the coal in. You can just kind of split off right here, continue up this way into that one. That should double our power. Thank God I checked if it was hooked up. Because that would have been uh, quite, quite silly if it wasn't. So 160. Getting power. Giving us more than enough um, to have our base working. To be honest, we could... Oh, we have... Oh, the coal has completely... Oh, it's missing for this one. But starting to get back into gear again. We could drag one from here up and uh, add into the main bus if we wanted to. Might not be a bad idea. Pretty much going in here, but uh, yeah, we'll just see if this can uh, keep up with the, the demand as is. One thing though, I want to upgrade that is all of this for red belts. So please do this part to red, that one to red. We have completed our red belt, so I have to grab some. So we can get our plastic flowing down the line. It's strange how I always pick up uh, copper and iron. I uh, I feel like I keep uh, throwing it out, but I keep getting it into my inventory. There we are. And upgrade all of that. And then down here it might look like we will hit... Something a bit better. Let's see here. That's taking some out to this way, and that's completely fine as long as it's filling up. And continuing down this way. Let's just take this, we don't upgrade to blue ones. To be honest, I can just do this instead, that might actually be a bit easier. Yeah. Red on ground. Another red, another red. And let's see here. One more red. And then we're close to being. We are actually at the end now. So that means that uh, hopefully we will get enough in. At least it looks like we can get half a belt into this one and get things rolling again. There we are. Could give it a small upgrade to red right here just to have it all as it should be. Same up here. And then we are pretty much done improving our plastic line. Of course, we ran out of <laughs> undergrounds just before we got it done. Typical, not that we're producing enough plastic anyway at the moment. I'm a bit sad now that we didn't make enough room for uh, enough room to make it two-sided unless we move this somewhere else. But uh, right now it's just kind of in the way right here. We could shift it all up a bit. But uh, yeah, no need for that. We should probably just do this instead. What if we do right here? Will that give us what we need to fill an entire red belt? Let's 
at least it is making sure that it's all getting onto the bus now. That's almost one full red belt of plastic, maybe about half. But we can always add in a bit more to maximize it. So, next thing I want to do is set up our accumulators. That means we'll have to get batteries back up here and into our main bus. Can just get it on a line up here at top. Getting uh, batteries on one and maybe blue circuits on the other one. But let's just get the batteries up here first. They shouldn't be that far down. They're right here. So let's split you off going north. And moving you a bit to make room for it. So splits go north as well. Towards our mall. We'll probably have to do the same with the red circuits very, very soon. So you want to come in right here. Here is a little jumpy jumpy bridge. We'll have to change this a bit to make room for it. Because we did do it a bit differently than we normally would. Or we can just do it up here, one above. So we don't have to redesign this that will be teared down sometime in the future anyway. And a not too distant future is probably what I should say. And you'll just kind of do one sided in. With the batteries. And then go down this way. Can we, will this stop the entire factory? We'll stop this entire factory. That is somewhat important. And now we can set up all of our accumulators right here. So there we are. I would like for you to be accumulators. Grabbing in what we need. So that means you will have to jump you, jump you, jump this one to here and then we should be able to if we split it off like that get a long handed and get a fast one right here and then we'll just put this one where to put the other ones just above this one so right here is kind of where it will be Grabbing batteries into this one. Giving ourselves one more chest. That's going to be filled with accumulators. It's not going to be fast, but it's going to get the work done. Can give it a bit better upgrades. That should increase the speed a bit. And once we get it done quite fast, we can just throw in some speed modules just to uh, get it done. Since this is one of the last things we need to get our satellites made. So while this is going, let's go collect what we need. For five, that's going to be our first rocket launch. A huge milestone in, uh, in this world. And we are minutes away from doing it. So right here, we'll get the 100 solar panels. The two other ones can go back. That's two accumulators being worked on. The rest we will have to go and grab. And it seems like we are too, getting, too full, uh, getting a full red build out. 
so let's go and grab this part and then just look forward to a to a nice rocket launch and the continuation of a lot of more things. Red circuits are still lacking a bit. They're just not being produced fast enough. So we should probably expand that uh, further down. It shouldn't be too hard. Let's see here. That's the 100 of those. Rocket fuel. It's right here. That's going to take a bit of room. So let's just make room for a set. Oh, look at that. We just need the satellite. Oh. Let's just get a little craft going here for those. Craft a satellite here. Take what you want. Load into structures. Oh, look how many we have now. That is brilliant. That's a bit too much. That's a hundred of those. Rocket fuel, the bottom one. Is that enough? It's not those. And then we just need 100 accumulators. And then we can finally launch our first rocket. Marking the end of our starter base. And transitioning us into uh, a new layout for... Um, a mega base. The plan for the mega base is pretty much build it as big as I can. I'm thinking about something like 3 4k science per minute. I think that could be quite good trying to go for a 3k science per minute uh, robot base. I want to see how far I can push a robot base in vanilla. And by robot base I think we should try doing it without trains. I would love to just try doing grid-based only robots and see how far we can stretch the UPS before it slows down to a grinding halt. Showing you what is possible with my PC and the specs I have, the optimizations of uh, Factorio, and whatever crazy thing I try to build. Um, I kind of want to make sure that we are only moving product with robots that is easier to move than whatever is being crafted from it. For example, I'd rather move plates to make copper wire and direct insert that than make copper wire and then move it by robot to wherever it's being made. Because that will be uh, too much flying around with things. But of course, I will move green circuits by robots, since that takes less than moving it around with um, with all the things. I think that's uh, the way I'm going to go with. And then, of course, heavy beacon, because that is uh, pretty much necessary for what I want to do. So, since we're waiting for this, let's expand down here. Hopefully, I brought enough landfill to... Uh, get this one further out. So let's see, we need to get it to right here. So we can expand all the way down to here now. Just need to set this one up with the undergrounds. Right here. That I of course forgot to pick up. So while the last accumulators are being crafted, we have 69, we just need about 31 more for our rocket launch. Let's just grab a bit more of everything. Let's grab some of... This should be good. Let's just grab a bit more to be sure. And those. And let's go set up some more red circuits. So as it is, if we remove this one... We should be able to just copy it down. Is that correct? It's not because we haven't set up our, um, our line of belts. But what if we do this part and set that up on top of this one? That will show us where the belts will go and the next part will go. 
So let's do that. Remove this one and that one. And let's just see if this won't work as a, a setup. Here and here. Oh, and that's why we need a bit... Oh, I should have done it one higher. That is a bit sad. But that doesn't mean we'll have to go and grab a bit more landfill. Before we can get it done. And probably gather in all of our accumulators on the way back. Giving us the 100 we need for our satellite. And look how beautiful this is. Doing a ton of pollution. But that's just the way it goes. There we are. Let's throw this into machines again. So don't keep going around with it. Yeah, that should be good. And then let's go over here and set it up. How many do we have? 97. 98. 99. 100. Please. There we are. So guys, we have everything we need for a rocket launch. That is extremely exciting if you uh, if you ask me. Let's just do right here. So we have a ton of expansion if we want to, but let's just give it a bit more first. So you can go away. But let's just grab this part. That should be possible to just kind of put down right here. Of course it isn't because we need to do that one and that one first. And that should make it completely modular now. It lines up. We should be able to just put it down. Let's do two of them. To just see that it, is, it actually is modular. And hopefully I haven't messed anything up. So we break this. But I can't see what it should be. So guys, how many of you have been following along in your own world? I know I talked with a few of you that have done it. And uh, I would like to hear an update for you guys if you have also launched a rocket at this point in time. Or you just sped ahead and got it done weeks before me. Since <laughs> that might actually be a very real thing that could have happened. It could be cool if uh, if I can get a picture of your base. If any of you have it, you can just give it to me on Discord. That would uh, be very, very nice. And while we are talking here, while this is building, uh, I would also like to tell you guys that I do have a Patreon. And I just put up a goal saying that uh, I'm trying to remove some of the commercials or ads I have on YouTube. I do make need to make a small amount of money of this, but um, I'd rather not annoy you guys with ads. So if you want to support me, Patreon is way better at doing it since uh, YouTube doesn't take the massive cut they do uh, <laughs> when I'm just making videos here. So that was just a small promotion for my Patreon page. It's not anything exciting it's just uh, a way for you guys to help me make the content that you guys like to watch without having to worry about getting views and such and plastering every video with uh, with a ton of ads yeah so is everything working as it should this is going this is going this is getting slowly down the line this is going to collect what it needs, so this should actually be fine. And now we have just doubled our red circuit production. So that is looking quite, quite good. Power is still holding strong. So guys, let's go and launch our first rocket and see how long we have spent. I think we are a bit over 10 hours. So we're not getting that below... Um, What's it called? Eight hours launch. But I didn't plan on getting that. And I have been explaining a few things to you guys. Because that's what I enjoy to do. Or I enjoy doing even. So uh, that is actually completely fine by me. 
But as the last thing this episode, I'll kind of do the rocket launch. Maybe talk a bit about... Oh, <laughs> remember to get this craft. Talk a bit about uh, the plan for the future. And I think that could be good. So look at this, guys. Here we are. That's our satellite in. We have the rocket ready. So now we can finally do a launch. And uh, complete the first stage of this. So um, as for going into uh, mega base territory, of course I'll continue on this map. I might make uh, episode one that starts from uh, ro launching a rocket, something called like a rocket launch to mega base. Um, it won't affect anything for you guys, but it will give new people looking at my ch channel a chance to follow along if they didn't join directly from the start. So. Um, that is at least what I want to try and do and see what effect that has on uh, on viewership. I think that be, could be quite, quite cool. So, um, yeah, let's just launch it. And uh, before I do, I just want to thank you guys for following along. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next episode where we continue into our mega base territory and uh, start to set up a lot of cool, cool things. So uh, here we go, guys. Rocket launch. And uh, go. Oh, guys, look at that. I love it. I love when this happens. Oh, listen to that sound. Let's follow it. And it's gone. There we go. We did it, guys. And we got the logistic network embargo. 11 hours, 50 minutes, and 38 seconds. And we killed four trees. <laughs> and can you remember when we did that? We might have been in a car at some point. So, um, very exciting. Very, very exciting. We only just started this series. And, uh, yeah. Now we will continue into mega base territory. This is pretty much just our starter base. It is being built to get to the first rocket launch and being able to supply all the things we need to uh, to continue on. Pretty much a mold that is uh, crafting all the things we need to uh, to continue. So hopefully you will join me in the next episode where we continue this uh, mega base series and uh, get robots set up so we can start to do some modular robotic builds so that means you will have to get these into our main bus into our mall and set up robot ports construction robots and logistic robots and whatever else is needed to uh, try and stress the limits of the game so thank you so much for watching guys, I've been DGray and I'll see you next episode. Bye guys.